This review is brought to you by DwayneWright.com, FileMaker Framework Solutions, virtual one-on-one FileMaker training, consulting, and custom design services. For more information, please visit www.DwayneWright.com. Hello everyone, this is Dwayne, and in this movie I'm just going to show a technique that I did to solve a question from a reader. And I have that text on the screen. And it says, I enjoy your columns. Cool. I need to format into capital letters a lot. And for years I've tried unsuccessfully to create a button so that I could turn any word or sentence, not the entire field, into uppercase without scrolling to the format style uppercase menu. Any ideas? I use FileMaker Pro Advanced version 8 for the Mac. If there is no button available, do you know version 9 or 10 has this feature? Out of the box, I don't believe 9 or 10 does have the feature. Neither does version 8. But what I did was I used FileMaker Advanced, and I believe this should work with version 8. I don't have that any longer. But if not, uh, you should use one of the later versions. And I do know that there is a special from FileMaker to upgrade to version 10 for, I believe it's $189. You'll want to check FileMaker's site for that, but it's a pretty good price for an upgrade. So what I did, when you get a question like this, or I have a situation where I need something like this, you do that whole make versus buy, or if you don't uh, have to buy it, sometimes see if there's anything free out there. Uh, you do that kind of decision making, and when you're looking for that special sauce custom function, one of the main places to go is BrianDenning.com. So, I went to the website to BrianDenning.com, and there's a ton of custom functions here. It's kind of a social network for rocket scientists who do create these custom functions for fun, or business, or just to share. And it takes some time to really learn the great search strings. I have found that the more uh, vague I am in my search, the better my results are. It's better for me to get a bunch of results, take a look at them, and then refine my search instead of trying to do the best search right out of the gate. So I did a search for the word active, and I came across these nine custom functions. And as we go down, we've seen one that was submitted by Bob Majors, Seattle guy, yay. And he created one called Get Active Selection. Now this custom function returns the selected text in a field. And that's very encouraging. But again, we also want to just change it in the overall, so that kind of doesn't do everything that we need. Scrolling down a little farther, I see someone whose name is Rashid, and he took what Bob had done and made it a little more robust. He chose to return everything to the left of what it was selected. And then he created another custom function that's everything to the right. So knowing these three things, I really have just about everything I need to meet my goal of making a selected piece of text uppercase. I can grab everything to the left, I can grab everything to the right, I can grab what I've selected, make it upper, and then just slam it in. And that's indeed what I did. So um, here you can see we have a, uh, if you take a manage at the custom functions, I've added the three custom functions in there, starting with the get active selection, and then the right of selection and left of selection does use this custom function as part of its parameter settings. We have a piece of text here. Let's go ahead and make this lowercase again. And let's take a look at the scripts. Selected to upper. Very simple. Says if I haven't selected anything, exit the script. If I have selected something, then set what I've selected equal to the left of that something, then use the upper function, which puts everything in uppercase, Bob's custom function of what I've selected, and then add to that the right of the selection. So basically, I am setting the field equal to itself, but whatever I've selected, I'm going to make upper. So let's just grab this piece of text. And let's go ahead and turn on the script debugger. 
So it says, if I didn't grab anything, exit the script, but I did grab something. Now I set the field equal to itself, plus the upper, and there you go. There may be more simple ways to do it, but I thought that was simple enough. So if you, uh, if you have anything more simple, by all means, send it my way. But these three custom functions, I think, pretty much do the trick. Do you have questions or comments about the video you just saw? Please feel free to email me at info at Thank you.